so welcome back. I'm Alan Jay and welcome to Lincoln Central with your fifth amazing tutorial in the basic trig series. Today we'll be looking at the triangle outsiders, those angles on the fringes of geometrical existence. Yes, today in geometry land, outside is good. These guys are called the external angles. So, let's get the ball rolling and start with a definition. An external angle is the name given to an angle that appears when we extend or produce one side of a triangle in one direction. In the diagram, we have the different values of A, B and C of the internal angles and D the value of the external angle. Now I could just tell you that the value of D equals the value of A plus C. But where's the fun in that? Let's push the boat out and prove it, shall we? If you've ever wondered what those ancient Greek geometry guys did with their spare time all those years ago, well, this might give you some idea. I won't be doing this exercise for everything, promise. But just to remind you, this is the way geometry works. First you get an original idea called a theorem, then you set about proving it using logic. And when it's all done and dusted, you write down QED, which stands for Quod Erat Demonstrandum, which means in Latin, quite literally, it has been shown. If this little snippet of knowledge is new to you, remember you heard it first on Lincoln Central. Anyway, let's get back on track and start proving that theorem. We know that the value of the angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees, so we can write A plus B plus C equals 180. Now, do you remember when we did about angles around a point, the sum of angles in a straight line adds up to 180 degrees? Well, since angle ABC equals C degrees, and angle ABD equals D degrees, and the two angles added together make up a straight line, that is, they are supplementary, it follows that B plus D equals 180. If we now subtract the second equation from the first, like so, working out the brackets on the second line, this becomes minus B minus D equals minus 180. Okay. And in the first equation to the second, we have, now, this gives us A plus B minus B plus C minus D equals zero. If we cancel the Bs, this becomes A plus C minus D equals zero. Adding D to each side, or if you prefer taking D to the other side and changing the sign, A plus C equals D. And there you have it. QED. In other words, the value of an external angle equals the sum of the two opposite internal angles. Now before you ask, opposite internal refers to the two angles at the corners of the triangle in a direction away from the external angle. Just to make all that sink in, time for a few problems. In triangle ABC, the angle at A is 72 degrees. The angle at C is 49 degrees. Find the internal and external angles at B. So, let the internal angle at B be small b degrees. Let the internal angle be D degrees. Since the three angles in the triangle equals 180 degrees, we can write 72 plus B plus 49 equals 180. Taking the 49 and the 72 to the other side of the equation and changing the sign, B equals 180 minus 49 minus 72. Minus 49 and minus 72 equals minus 121. So B equals 180 minus 121. 180 minus 121 is 59. So B is equal to 59. The internal angle at B is 59 degrees. And now for the external angle at B. Angle ABC and angle ABD are supplementary. CBD is a straight line. So B plus D equals 180. Substituting for B equals 59 degrees. 59 plus D equals 180. 
Taking the 59 to the other side and changing the sign, D equals 180 minus 59. So D equals 121. The external angle at B is 121 degrees. Nothing too difficult there, I hope. Let's confirm that we know what we're doing here with one more problem. In triangle ABC, the angle at C is 52 degrees, while the external angle at B is 120 degrees. Find the internal angles at B and A. Well, first, let the internal angle at B be B degrees, and the internal angle at A be A degrees. Since the internal and external angles at B are in a straight line, we can write B plus 120 equals 180. Taking the 120 to the other side of the equation and changing its sign, B equals 180 minus 120. Subtracting 120 from 180 gives 60, so B equals 60. So we have our answer. The internal angle at B is 60 degrees. And now to find the internal angle at A. Remembering that the three angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees, we can write A plus 60 plus 52 equals 180. Taking the 60 and the 52 to the other side of the equation and changing the sign, A equals 180 minus 60 minus 52, which gives A equals 180 minus 112, so A equals 68. Our answer is, therefore, the internal angle at A is 68 degrees. And that's all, folks. The next tutorial is on angles from intersecting lines. This is just to complete the general topic of angles. Important groundwork if you're to understand trig. There's a lot of really useful stuff here, like knowing the difference between your external alternate angles from your corresponding ones, and using your transversal wisely. But you can't wait. Anyway, thank you all for watching this tutorial. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss the latest vid. See you soon.